Hi there, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a new table in SQL Server Management Studio, also known as SSMS. To get started, go into the Windows Start Bar and type in SSMS and click on the SQL Server Management Studio search result to open it up. Once SQL Server opens up, enter your database credentials and connect to your database by clicking on the Connect button. From the Object Explorer on the left, expand the Databases folder, then expand the database you'd like to add a new table to. For me, this is the Test Database 1 folder. Now, right-click on the Tables folder and select New and then Table. A new Table tab will now open up. From here, you're going to want to type in the name of your first column. For me, I'm going to create a table for computer parts, so I'm going to type in Part Number, and then select the data type as varchar 50 Now for the next column, I'm going to type in part description and select the data type as varchar 50 Now I'm going to uncheck allow nulls for both of my columns. Now I'm going to right click on the arrow icon next to the part number column and click on the set primary key menu option. This ensures that the table won't allow more than one record with the same part number in it. Now, to save the table, click on the X icon to close the tab, then click on the Yes button. Now, from this dialog window, you need to give your table a name. I'm going to type in Parts. Your new table will now be created. If you go into the Object Explorer on the left hand side, then right click on the Tables folder and select Refresh, your new table will now display. Now, if you would like to create records in this new table, simply right-click on the new table and click on the Edit Top 200 Rows menu option. Now, to save these new records in the table, click the X button on this tab to close it. Now, if we right-click on the new table and click on the Select Top 1000 Rows menu option, SQL Server will now display all of the top 200 records in the table. As you can see, the two records we just entered are now visible in the table. And it's as easy as that. Creating a new table in SQL Server Management Studio is a fairly easy task to perform. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, then please subscribe.